Hello. Right. I have decided to... I was going to do this as videos, but I've decided to do it as twitching. Um, because I think it might be um, fun to see all the mistakes. Because um, I wrote that. <laughs> I wrote this when I was like... Um, <laughs> it's called the other half mate it's called the other half um right so i've decided i was going to do this lot as um recording but i've decided to twitch it so as well as so we're going to have grid runner as the coding and then we're going to have this as a, another 6502 series and I I decided to twitch it and make it as a, a, a series in its own right, but um, sort of interactive and, um, well, just so you can see how, how difficult it would be to um, work it. Now, Okay, okay, then you probably know more than me, because it was a long, long time ago when I wrote this. Right, so I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I'm on about, but first, yours only has three commands. Oh, right, mine's good, mine has a lot. Hang on. Let me see if I've still got... Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, this is going to be interesting if I've still got it. Um, where, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Oh, I wish I'd... Oh, I should have dug this out before. Um, okay. I've got to find where I put it. I did have a document that I wrote as a kid. Um, oh, where is it? I have so much stuff on this computer. It's unreal. Um, oh, and I don't know where it is. Oh, that's annoying. That is really annoying. Uh, I wonder if it's in here somewhere. Oh, hang on. This looks retro. Oh, this looks good. There we go. Found it. Right. So this is mine. Wrote it when I was a kid. Uh, what are you? Go away. Um, view. One page, page width. Here we go. Right, so this. <laughs> this is a. Um, this was my extended basic and pr programmer's aid for Commodore 64. Look at the date, 1985, and this, um, 
The machine code program will provide 22 extra commands. Oh dear, well that's, we've already done that because that's Kaidos. Okay, so the next one would be, no, that's my machine code monitor. Let's go through that. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's my assembler. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, let's keep going. My very own assembler that I, I wrote a long time ago. Right, here we go. Graphics extension commands for the Commodore 64. So this runs in the top six. No, no, it wasn't published in a magazine. This was just basically me. Um, this the assembler, the assembler was. Um, oh, I can't remember which one it was now. Uh, I think it was your computer. I think. I'd have to ask me dad. <laughs> anyway, so look at the date, March 1985. This is when I wrote this. This is when I wrote this, March in 1985. Um, and this word document is actually an OCR of the manual that I wrote and I've got it up yeah it's up there hang on hope you enjoy the stream oh was that a follow I don't know who it is because I can't see it but this was the manual, yeah? This is what the manual I wrote. All right, and right. This is the back page. This is the back page of it. I don't know if you can see anything, but can you see the red writing on there? That's my dad correcting my spelling. <laughs> that oh, that's that's an even worse page look. It's an even worse page. There's a lot of red on that one. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, so I wrote this. So this must have been in March 1985. Um, and I OCR'd that. I OCR'd it and then um, I managed to get nearly all of it Yard on here and then I put it into a word document so oh the chats in the way there isn't it let's uh, let's do this right so this is this is what I'm going to try and do yeah I wrote this back in 1985 and I would have been 17, 18, somewhere around there. And, and I, um, and the reason I wrote it was because um, Simon's Basic was out there um, that did all the graphic commands, you know, box, circle, and all that. And as I've explained before, my folks weren't well off people. My dad was a miner um, and 1985 you know what happened around that area um, and so money was you know tight so me being me I'd already written my assembler I'd already written my word processor I'd already written the um, disk operating system um, and I'd already wrote, um, wrote my own programmers aid as you saw from the early pages um, that allowed you to, you know, yes, yeah, that was it. And so, what I, what, what I was gonna, what I was doing, just say, right, let's stick, let's stick with the past, John. Stick with the past. So, back then, couldn't afford Simon's Basic. That was the big thing at the time because you could do graphics, sort of graphics on it. And so I 
wanted it and I decided to write my own. And so I looked, I managed to um, find um, the manual for it because I think, I think, I think my school had it. I think, I, I can't quite remember, but it, it was back then anyway. And I got, I seen all the commands and what they were doing and but Simon's Basic also had programmer's aid um, commands and stuff like that. And I'd already done that. That I'd done. I'd done. I didn't, I didn't need that. I'd already got one. And so I was decided to write my own. So I could do um, drawing squares and circles and lines and stuff like that. So, so here is 25 extra basic commands that you can put into a program uh, which will allow you to um, like I say draw lines circles boxes so just to give you an idea we have a box command we have a char command circle color draw dump raise fill graphic h char mob Mob call, plot, poly, put, retrieve, reverse, R joy, R paddle, and that's where my manual stops. But as you'll see, I think there's more commands in there. <laughs> I think I got fed up with my dad putting red mark pen all over it, and I gave up. <laughs> no no so what I was going to do was I was going to create a video series around this project I was going to oh that's me assembler again I was going to take my code that's written in my assembler and convert it into um, C, uh, CPS we're going to use CPS for this and then look at it and then modernize it and, um, and and make it better because back then like I say I was a self-taught programmer so there's when I looked at it I thought oh I can do that far better I can make that run far quicker and stuff like that and that's what I want to do I want to take it make it better make it run faster because I'm much more experienced programmer now and um, and also teach you guys that the basic in the C64 is expandable you can make you can add your own I mean it's called the wedge most um, most people call, uh, have called it with that but the what I did with this and you'll see what I've done with this is I made this into a cartridge so it simulated a cartridge even though I couldn't afford to burn one on a cartridge it simulates it and so that's what I wanted to do I wanted to have a, a twitch si or video series about creating these commands yes the 8000 slot so and my philosophy was that with the videos we would hello john here thank you for following hope you enjoy the stream uh thank you for the follow who's following who's followed me i i, I can't see the name i've got my setup on the other side so i can't see and so, um, this is going to be a Twitch series, and I'm going to put it on YouTube as, a, as videos, but I thought, instead of recording it and then putting on, I thought I would do it live, and then you guys can laugh at me when I make mistakes and shout at me, like you do to the screen on the videos, but at least now you can shout at me and go, Oi! Oi! You've done something wrong, you plank! And um, and we'll go. We'll take it from there. So, episode one was basically to see 
um, basically to see what it does and how I did it in my assem in my assembler. So what I'm going to do, I've got Vice open. Um, let's blow it up. Oh, not like that. Oh, I got have I got bits? Who's giving me bits? Macro man, thank you very much. I got some bits. <laughs> right, let's see what we can do with this. Can we make this so you can see it? There we go. That'll do. Right, so let's load my disc in. So this is these are my discs, yeah? And so I think it's this one. So what's on here? So there's my assembler in two different locations, just in case I needed to compile into C1000, I've got an assembler lowdown. There's my machine code monitor statements, which I've already converted. And I've got a video series about it. I've got a disk copier, character editor, sprite editor. There's the extended basic. We're going to be doing this once the bank account program. That's going to be a video series where we're going to be creating a database and using a bank account. And basically it's a check it, checkbook account manager. Sprites, sprites, uh, graph, poster print. So here at the bottom, you see graphics extension, STS, that's my machine code assembly file. Can you see that on the screen, by the way? And the MC is the machine code, right? So let's, let's mount that and I'll load the assembly in first. Ooh. I keep forgetting it doesn't like that. Oh, where's the asterisk? There. Right, so this, this is the graphics extension in my assembly format. So as you can see, no spaces between anything because a space was a waste of a character. And this is my graphics extension in my assembler. Now I could assemble it. In fact, let's do that. So <laughs> right, so let's load me assembly in. So I need the C1000 one because I'm going to assemble this to, to 8000. So it's O2, load O2. So we load it up to the top, do new so it resets it. Then we're going to load the statements back in again. Right, here we go. Oh, this is going to bring back some memories. 49152, I think that's the start. Oh, and it crashed. Oh, that means it's not that. Where's my assembler? Where's my assembler? What's the start address? Oh, that's the start address. <laughs> no wonder it crashed. Right, let's load it back in again. Eighteen statements, yeah. Right, the start is four nine nine one seven. I'm glad I have a manual. Right, here we go, fingers crossed. And away we go. Now this may take some time, folks. And away we go. So this is my assembler. And while it's doing that, I'll crack open my can.
So if you mad, you got to imagine, right? This assembler. Yeah, this is the resulting file that would print out on a print if you did open for. Open four comma four or something. Daft, and then you have to do CMD four, and then you did sys four nine nine one seven. Then it would print it out to the printer. And this is all my print printouts that I've got up there. Up there, just where my finger is, I think. Yep. So this is my. Um, I mean, to be honest, I, I mean, I've, I've, conver I'm, I've converted my assembler now. It's in, it's in uh, CPS. But I was trying to see if I could make it, make it better. Um, it assemble, it assembles okay. But I was trying to make it better. Because um, I'm only, because we only have eight. Because if you notice around here, this area here is the labels, yeah this area here and there's only eight characters per label so as you say char one <laughs> char two char three char five yeah my 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 labels <laughs> were were not brilliant but you've got to imagine right that my assembler was written in Ba, ba, ba. Oh, I've forgotten when I wrote it. It's full assembler. 1980, 1983. I wrote my assembly in 1983. Um, originally it was for the Vic. <laughs> behave Andy behave um, but it was written it was written for the Vic I don't know if I told you I wrote it using the machine code monitor because I got fed up of writing machine code in the machine code monitor <laughs> and then I I used I loaded the Vic version into um the 64 this looks like it's finished yep it's finished so i loaded the vic version into the 64 changed the basic pointers because the vic assembler was at the start of basic and uh, and so i had to manipulate c64 basic so i was above it then i loaded in the then i loaded in the, mach the machine code statements right machine code statements that I had done for the Vic and then I assembled it assembled it in C thousand for the sixty four. But um it was still in Vic format so you only saw twenty two lines on the screen. And then I modified it for the sixty four. Anyway, enough of that. So it's assembled okay. That's the assembly. Now the trick of this is to do this SYS six four seven three eight. Booyah! Welcome to the graphics extension by yours, yours truly. And this now allows you to do some commands. And now I'm going to have to refer back to my manual so I know what I'm doing. So let's draw a line. Right, okay. So we're going to draw a line. <laughs> I'm used, referring to my manual, my old manual. Draw a line from. Have I got help? Did I have write out for this? No, I didn't. Okay, right. Okay, so ten. To put it in, to put it in graphics mode, you have to put type in the word graphic, and then. Okay, we'll do. We'll use that example. Okay, twenty for i equals equals. Where's the equals? Ah. 
zero to zero to two hundred. Step ten. Thirty. Right. Okay. Draw zero, comma two hundred minus minus i two i comma zero. Yeah, that's what that says. Right, seventy next. There's a couple of lines in in between that, but I just want to run it and see what it does. <laughs> cool. Right. Um, so, what was line 40? Draw 319 minus I, comma 200, 2, 319, comma I. Right, 50. Draw 319 minus I, comma 0, 2, 319, comma 200 minus I. And what's 6? Six, oh, 60. Draw 0, comma I. 2 i comma 200 right right that's my example at my manual what's the typo where Oh, okay, I see it. Right. So this is my this is my example of how to do a draw in my in my manual. Yes, I'll sort out the points. We'll sort out the points. So if I run this now. So you've got to rem remember that I was what? When I wrote this, I was 17, 18. Now I know I can make these lines draw faster. <laughs> Drunk. No, I wasn't drunk. <laughs> so, yeah. So, there's two commands, which is graphic and draw. So, to get back to the normal mode, because now the program stopped, yeah? To get back to the normal role, you type screen and it would take you back. There you go, screen. And I've got other ones in there. So let's put another, let's just do one more. Right, circle. Circle 160, comma 100. Comma one hundred, comma ninety, comma ninety, comma one twenty. One twenty, no one eighty. Right. The problem is that's gonna take a long time, isn't it, to do that? Right, new. So line ten graphic, line eighty, circle. Right, here we go. So this is the circle command. There you go. So it's only done an arc. So 
So if I wanted to do the full one, I need to change that to zero. And this is this <laughs> this is where this is where I know I can do better because it's 361. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. One circle. Ah dear. We could go through them all. Hang on. The one that I am really, really proud of. Really, really proud of, and I still am, but I think I know I can definitely make it execute quicker. Is this Phil? So if I do 160 comma 100 and then run, but the fill I can I can make run a lot quicker than this. <laughs> yeah. Well, back in those days, these cartridges were expensive. My folks definitely couldn't afford it. I mean, we foregoed our family vacate, family holiday for that year just to get Commodore 64. Well, there you go. There's Flood. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take... Gonna take this code. I'm gonna take this. We are going to import it into <laughs> watching paint dry. We're gonna take this, we're gonna come take it out of the 64, we're gonna load it into CPS, and we're gonna run it through my my converter that I've got. And we're going to take each command and try and redo it from scratch. Well, not from scratch. We're gonna we're gonna modernize it and see if we can uh, make it better. Because, like I say, the circle one I'm sure can be made better. Draw definitely can be made better. Um, there's faster routines to draw lines than that. Yes, only that it because I made it into a cartridge format, yeah. So when like there, if you did the soft boot, right, it load because it's there, um it loads in as a as a cartridge, yeah? Because all cartridges start at eight thousand. And I didn't want to I didn't want to put it into C thousand because that's where my assembler was. And Got to remember, we're messing around with graphics here. Messing around with graphics and a full screen of graphics. Come on, guys. How much memory does it take for a full screen of graphics? Exactly. So you've got 8K of graphics area. We've got effectively... Um, I don't know where this compiled to. I don't. I can't remember. So I'm. So let me do the. Let me just. Oh, let me. What's run, stop, and resaw, guys? Is it escape page up? Aha! There we go. See, I've even got it that it comes up when you. Um, I've even got it where it comes up when you do run, stop, and restore. It just reminds you who wrote this. Just remind you who wrote this. I did. I wrote it. No one else. If someone tries taking credit, run, stop, and restore. No, it ain't. It's done by him. <laughs> so, 
you've got the graphics extension that loads in at 8000 because we are pretending to be a cartridge then we've got 8k of graphics area that we're going to have to use all right so we are going to um, load my program in and I think I've already done it I can't remember we mean messing around no you'll see you'll see what I did you'll see uh, phase has just asked me which bank I put the graphics in and it's definitely not bank zero you'll see right so let me fire up um, CBM <sighs> well that's dot net complaining there dot net complaining there Oh. Let's do that again. Huh. <laughs> right. What is this? Oh, I know what this is. Right, so as you can see, I've got OSK Basic because I've been messing around, but we are going to do it a little bit topsy-turvy because I've actually converted it. And already, so here we go. This is it. Right. So this, that, <laughs> screenshot that code. <laughs> right. So this is what was in my, and as you can see, when I imported it in three years ago. So down it, so all the text is all screwed up and everything, yeah? <laughs> and this is the my assembler code, right? Now I've got a pro I've got a program that takes this code and it makes this. So what it's done is it's taken the code that was in um, in in my assembler C64 state, and I made a program to it. What it does, it gets rid of the it gets rid of the quotes and it tabs it and tidies it up, tidies it up and all that, and we end up with something like this. Now, as you probably see, let's go back to the top. As you probably see, there's some at sites, like that one there. All right? That is because if we go to the same place here, oh, and it's a pain to see it, right? So I, we're looking for MNI. MNI, there it is. There. Branch. Branch if equal three. <laughs> I, when I when I was writing my assembly code, I didn't branch to I didn't branch to a label. <laughs> I I was much better than that. I worked it out in bytes. I wanted to go three forward, and and I, I do that all over the place. It's all over the shop. Um, the, I I do branch to 
like there, I branched to a label. But if it was three bytes, I knew that it's going to be three bytes away. And so I didn't, I didn't, um, <laughs> I didn't put a label for a three byte jump. Oh, I don't do that now, do I? <laughs> <laughs> I learnt my lesson. So I've put at, so these are local labels on all the branches where I did hash three or hash five or hash nine. Um, so you'll see some ats in there, so around, dotted around, but that's like here. So these two branches were actually hash numbers and I've just convert, just converted them in. Now this, Looks like Minter's code. Oh mate, oh mate, no, no, no. When we get into this, you'll be you'll be astounded at you'll be astounded at how I how I have done this because I look. I've been look right. I've been planning this for the last year, right? I've been planning to do this for a year, and and I've been looking at the code and thinking, oh my god, how how did I know that? How did I know how to do that? Where did I find this out from? Because <laughs> it's, it's yeah, yeah, it's it's um yeah. So what we're gonna do, and I, I mean I've done quite a bit of it. I've done quite a bit of it, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cheat. We're we're gonna do it's gonna I'm gonna do it all on Twitch stream. There's not gonna be any um um coding in between we're going to do it all on twitch and and this basically is uh yeah yeah it's, it's you've got to remember that byte space zero was one two three four five six six characters which is six bytes in c64 memory as brk is three so i was saving three bytes every time i used it so yeah so this is going to be this was going to be a video series that i was going to do um like i said at the start of the stream this was going to be a video series that I was going to do at the start and because i'm finding Yeah, but you can't assemble. Yeah, that's what I said. Six bytes. B Y T E space zero is six bytes. As B R K is three bytes. Anyway, so I'm not doing this as a video series. I haven't got time. I haven't got time to do it. I've got so many things going off I thought I would do a second stream and so you guys can laugh at me as I struggle to let, to understand my own code <laughs> and to understand how I did things because I was look because I was looking at it ham sandwich is seven bits oh bites seven bites okay you take you take seven bites out of a ham sandwich. Well, oh, mine's gone in three. So we are. Let's see. If, does this does this compile? Compile to memory. No. Because I haven't completed all of the the BNCs. Look, I ain't done them all. I ain't done them all in this, but I've done them all in the other one. Let me um, let me load the other one up. Ha! Ah, you're not seeing that. No way you've seen that. That's my secret pie th pie game weapon. That is not getting to see that one little bit. Right. Close folder. <laughs> I 
Is he? Is Gary in? But he can't. I, I bet he still can't chat. I don't know what's wrong with his chat. I haven't banned him. Right. Let me just see. Has it been all done? Where is it? Yes. It's been all done. Let me see if I can find... Where's the original? It's got to be somewhere around here. Hmm. I can't find the one that I've done all the breaks, uh, done all the branching. Um. I have done it. Let's just have a look. It's got to be somewhere. I thought it was this, but apparently not. Where's the other one? Da, 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 da. Nope. I can't have kept it. Well, that's a shame. Never mind. Never mind. We'll just sort this lot out. No, I don't, I don't know why Gary can't chat. Yeah. I don't know why he can't chat. Is he actually, is he using an app or is he using a PC and the browser? Maybe it's a Mac. <laughs> oh, that's harsh. That's harsh. Right. Where? That's extended basic. Oh, it's definitely not that. That's extended basic, that is. Right. Anyway, what I'm going to do is... <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this file in in VS Code. So we need to start thinking about how we're going to structure this. So, the commands that we've got, right? So we've got R point, joy, paddle, pen. You can see all that up here. Point, graphic, screen, draw, circle, shape. Shape? I don't remember seeing a shape. Did, did I not? Oh, it's after R, isn't it? That's when it stops. Oh, I bet I've lost pages. I've lost pages at my manual. So I don't... Shape, that must be a polygon thing. Got to be. 
So now we've got H char. Is he chatting in Discord? So he's not on a, so what are you on? Type in Discord mate, what are you on? Using a browser, what browser? Chrome. Well, I'm using Chrome. Do you see the chat window? I don't think the network matters. Um, Andy's got a point there. Whispers seem to be working. Could IRC be blocked on a 4G, uh, 4G internet connection? Anyway. Yeah. Who's the ISP, Gary? Uh, type it in Discord. The guys are there. They'll, they'll, they'll be chatting to you. If... He's on EE. Anyway. I'll let the guys sort you out. Yeah? Right, where was I? Oh, yeah. I was trying to do this so I was going to load that I should do it Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Whoever that was, thank you very much for following. I've got so much on my uh, screen. <laughs> so much on my screen. Alone. Right, as you can see, look, I've opened it up in VS Code. Right, I've opened that file up in VS Code. I wonder if. Twitch blocked on EE. Dunno.
Oh, it's under parental controls. Tala. It, Tala. I'm going to have two more streams. Going to have two more streams. Uh, two more screens for the streaming soon. Won't be stuck with two then. Ah, Gary. There you go. You might have an answer there. Have a look at what um, Andy's put up in the chat window. See if that'll help you. You might have to turn parental control off. Right, we'll see you in a bit. So I've got the code here in VS Code. Ooh. I wish it wouldn't do that. I wish it wouldn't do that. Everything disappears. Right. So we'll create a new project. Right. So where's that one? So I'm creating a new project. Commodore 64. We want it to go under GitHub. OSK Basic. Get in there. That's where we're going. Right. Can't type. Right. So that should be a brand new project. Bring it on. So we are going to um, <laughs> modern help desk. I must give for a raise. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear right so we are let me shut down is is um yes it's still running vice isn't it okay we'll leave that there we'll reset it though hard sit right so we are effectively going to be creating a cartridge and the what we need to do is um, think about how we're going to build the cartridge. So first things first, let's create a brand new file. So we'll call this uh, OSK Basic. Right. So of course, comments we need comments comments lots and lots of comments right oops Right. Do, 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 do. I'm not saying I'm the master because that is shallow. Right. So I'm going to put I'll put comments in in between streams. That's all I will do. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do any coding. I'll put the comments in. So we are starting 
here. So there are things that you have to um, you ha you have to do to make the cartridge work. Yeah. Now I'm not going to um, I'm not going to put the cartridge stuff in here. I'm going to create another another file. Woo! Not that one another assembly file and we're going to call it what am i going to call it let's see what have i got in notes what have i got him in notes oh ink cart initiate ink cart oh come on john Ink cart initiate. Is that how you spell initiate? That looks wrong. But it's there. Right. Now, this is where we're going to put all the initialization logic for the... for the cartridge. So let's grab a couple of this. Let's grab some of that. Right, so this is the uh, what I'm going to put in here cartridge. Station, uh, routine. <laughs> Use the force. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying. I'm trying. Right, so we need to. Uh, We need to get some uh, jump vectors. Hi, right, Mark. How you doing? Uh, so we need to we need to identify the jump vectors we need to take up take over. So let's get them in there here. Late. Uh, well, we've only just started coding. Um, I've been showing. I've been well. I've been showing off. I've been showing what I did as a kid, but I do not understand it now. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Now, I have got some constants files I need to put in first. That's one of them. So, ink. No lib. Rom routines. And we're just going to copy and paste all of this lot. Which is what I've got in all of my projects that I do. Basically, these are all uh, basic functions and um, the, rock, the kernel jump vectors and the um, basic jump vectors for all the stuff that we need. So we'll put them in there and we'll do um, ink, no, 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 ink. God, it's been a while since I've done this. Lib, rom, routines, .sm. God, dear, trying to remember, trying to remember. <laughs> um <laughs> oh, yeah, I've seen that Easter egg. Um offhand? I don't know. I don't know. Um but I'm sure we can um we can work it out. Right, where's the other constants? Where's my constants file? Um basic routines. Basic routines, where's that? Right, so I'll copy that. Uh, 
Oh, and I can't spell. They didn't license BASIC from Microsoft. Jack Trammell went and said, if you're not going to sell it me, I don't want it. That's my understanding. That's what I've read. That um, Mr. Bill, Mr. Bill Gates, the boy, went to Jack Trammell and said, hey, you can have my basic, you can license it. And Jack Trammell went and said, nope, if you're not selling it me, I don't want it. And sold it for, was it $20,000 or something like that back in them days? And then used it on every product that they had. Right, so this is... Um, this is just a, a route, couple of routines that I've put in. So this is basically the 50K, was it? Okay. I know it was a small amount compared to how many machines they sold. Yeah, but they've, they haven't got the ancient basic. Basic 1 was the ancient basic. Basic 2 was the new and improved. But basic 4, basic 4 had all the disk operation commands in there like catalog and uh, what what are load and desave and all that. God, scraping my memory banks there. <laughs> but it was still based off the code that they bought from Bill Gates. Andy, yeah, you're not wrong there. You know, BBC Basic was a far better product, far better product. And it just showed you what you could do in an 8-bit arena with that sort of basic, with procedures and, and all that jazz. I mean, you can't say the Dragon's Basic was any good because that was Microsoft as well. Um, the the Amstrads, they didn't use the Microsoft Basic, did they? They used a different one. Was it LocoSoft or something? I don't know, I can't remember. Anyway, so this function here basically does the same function as... Um, in ROM as um, JSR AB1E but I've called it ABIE um, basically AB1E allows you to print a string up to 25 characters locomotive basic yeah <laughs> oh as slow as a okay slow as a coal train okay but I wrote an AB1E lookalike that allows us to print out a string of more, and the 255 character boundary doesn't doesn't apply. But I've used this, used these these functions in Kaidos and a few others. That's why I'm just copying and pasting them in. I'm just let's see, have I got anything else I need? Um. What else do I need? That'll do for the moment, I think. Right, so we'll import these fellas in. Uh, do, 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 basic. What did you miss? 
<laughs> you missed a lot. Has Gary made it yet? Just checking parental controls, but I think we're off anyway. Has he made it in chat yet? Still working on it. Okay. Right, so... Now, the cartridge... Um, it is... When you try... When you create a cartridge, you are creating a... Um, um, there has to be some bikes that are in a specific place. Yeah? So... What we need to do is, in a cartridge, you have a word of two bytes, and then another word of another two bytes. And we'll get to them in a minute. And then you have this. And what happens is, when the C64 does uh, when it does its boot up it checks there is there is um, these three characters uh, in the kernel and it checks uh, bytes um, 0 1 2 3 4 I think it's 4 and if it finds 4 5 and 6 are exactly the same as what it's got in kernel then it loads it initializes using these vectors here. Um, if it doesn't, it then checks at eight a thousand and four for CBM, because if you look in, um, let's fire up um, let's fire up the debugger if I can find it. Because that will show us. Right. I can't see. Oh, there we are. So. Hey, up. Oh. This is somebody's game that can't get. That can't get into chat. <laughs> Right, detach everything. No, detach. Oh, what's, what's detach everything? F9. What's detach everything? I thought it was control D. Or is it Alt Control D? No, Control D. What's detach everything? Shift Control D. Aha! Right, so this is loaded up. So we need to go into memory view. Where's memory view? Aha! Right, so if we go to A1000. You'll see that at, there it is, one, two, three, four. And they are there. They're in capitals. Hello. And that's CBM. There. Yeah, C64 debugger GUI. I mean, I've, I've spoken to him just recently. Um, he's going to update it but the function I was trying to I don't think it's there but there we go so it loads it, it detects those for those three characters and then loads off the first yeah so what we need to do is um, we need to right where's my code this is it Now, this is out of that 
thingy file, but I have tidied it up. So what I'm going to do is, we're not going to put that in there. I'm going to go through it bit by bit. So we need a cart reset point. And basically it's exactly the same. Ooh, have I got that location looking about anywhere? I don't think I've got that knocking about anywhere, have I? Mr. Cake is checking EE for me. You can't, oh, Warlock, that's bad. That is a bad joke. Right, I don't think I've got, I haven't, I haven't got my, um, ah, that's why I need it there. Right, let's grab that. Let's put some comments in here. Get them get the map sorted out so that's the includes right these are the generic variables so now scroll X should be okay to go then what we need to do is this um, basically we're just copying what is in um, the initialization because if you look at the jump vectors in the C64, this is exactly what it goes to do. And I'm trying to remember what the... I wonder if it's 64738. Oh, it's not open anymore, is it? No, C64 bugger's not open anymore. I think it's, I think it's 64738. Um... FCE2 Disassemble FCE2 So we there we go this is where this is where we start in FCEF so it's basically copying that so FDA3 which is in this CIA initialization um, FD50 is uh, perform a RAM test. FD15 is restore the RAM vectors. FFB5 is initialize the screen editor and the VIC chip. So basically, that's what we're copying. So we're copying this section, yeah? But instead of jumping to A1000, we jump into our routine for the graphics so just believe me when we're doing so this is this is what we've just seen in there right so these are the four routines that is ran and then it clears the um, the interrupt and then it jumps off to um, a thousand it does an indirect jump to 8,000. But we're not going to do that. We are doing a... Yes, that was the basic wrong. Um, so we're, we're, gonna f we're taking over that particular function. We're taking over that particular function. But we've... I copied... the way When I was a kid, because I was looking into... I have got some notes that I was looking at 
Um, it do, it's not complete, but it, I did write down how I was initialising the system, and I just basically um, said that I uh, I'd, that I'd, cop I'd written just disassembled that bit, and then I identified the bits that I needed. So once once we have um, um, so we've we've initialized the CIA at uh, CIAs. We've done our RAM test. We've restored the RAM vectors, and we've initialized the screen editor and the Vic chip. The next thing we need to do is we need to copy the basic vectors, um, which is E four five three. Now, what this is, is there's, um, there's uh, in ROM, there are the actual vectors that control BASIC, and they are copied to um, 0300 upwards, yeah? And they and the, the basic jump vectors, these jump vectors that we're go, that we're copying here, we're going to over, we're going to take over. We're going to substitute the actual ones with our ones. Yeah. So that's that's. But we have to initialize it anyway. Then we need to initialize basic because we still want basic to work. So it's E three BF. Right, and the reason why we have to initialize basic is, and the reason, well, the reason why we're doing this is we're taking over the startup routine of the C64 because we're pretending we are a cartridge, we have to take it over. So we've copied the vectors, we've initialized basic, and then we need to print the start screen, which is E422. That prints up, prints out the basic startup screen. So that's the Commodore. What's it at the top? That's this. That's the basic startup screen. There, All right? Uh, oh, and that bit as well, and that bit as well. So once we've done that, then we can start applying our logic, right? Because our logic is going to have the um, our banner, our banner across the top. So the first thing we do, we have to initialize the stack. I don't know why it has to be FB, but that's in the that's in the. Um, uh, in the ROM, so transfer X into the stack pointer. I'm a bit slow today. Right. So we want our text putting on the screen. All right. So this is where our text comes into it.
and then we are going to jump to our basic routine where's our basic routine print string basic routine print string that's the one So that's printing out my banner. Then we are going to go to the start of our uh, code. And then We are jumping out of the NMI. Now I've made a bit of a cock up here and no one spotted it. So the text we're putting in is this. So I'm gonna change that now. Because this is going to be 2.2 so the clear screen is for when am I missing SEI no I'm not messing around with the interrupts at the moment not messing around with it yet oh This is the non-maskable interrupt. It doesn't fire unless um, unless control um, run, stop, and restore happens. Why well, here? Because this, that, and the RAM vectors. These. That's where. It, they're all the jump vectors at uh, 0300 onwards. So the IRQ is at 0314 and 0315. So there in that routine, when you look, you'll see that it says SEI. So you have to set it when you come back out. Right, so this is our start point. So this is where our code's gonna start for us, yeah? But we need to now put in, so the very first one here, this is cart reset. Ooh. So when the kernel for identifies that CBM is here, it reads this and then runs through that code. Yeah. So it's basically doing an indirect jump to 8,000. Um, hang on, have I still got the monitor open? Oh no. There you go, look. So, when it comes, it reads, so this is where, this, I think, this FDO2, I think that's where it's doing the test. Yeah, there it is, look. So, FDOF, so it's, it's loading five characters, it's loading what's in FDOF, and then comparing it with uh, 8003 yeah which is the first one and then it will cycle oh hang on how can we do oh okay let's uh, disassemble FCEC will that go down far enough yes it does and so it's comparing it what it's got with what's in 803 and then um, if it doesn't equal if it fails then it comes straight out but here it would have tested it and missed it right and it would have jumped on to here yeah but because we're taking over and it would have met those bytes that are in the ROM 
it jumps to 8000 and that's where we're putting our cart reset code. Now, there's the CLI mate, Doxter, there's the CLI in ROM. So I've just copying what's in ROM, all right? So that's, that's why, but this is how it knows when you've got a cartridge in because it's comparing some bytes in its ROM, which is CBM um, 80, I think. I think if we look to FD, memory, FDOF. Yeah, so these are uppercase characters and then look, 80. So that's a CBM80, and that's what we've put in our startup uh, code here. CBM80, and it's capitals, look, CBM in capitals. And so it does a basically, it does a jump to 8000, which is here, the cart reset, which then runs that. And this is the initializing the computer. Now, the other thing, the other set is the cart NMI the non-maskable interrupt. So we now need to create, come on. And I get it in the wrong order. So we need to do now is to do, to take, get this right. We now need to take over the function of doing the non-maskable interrupt that the Grom does. So it's basically exactly the same thing as before. We do a run. See, you would have been shouting at the screen there, and then when it when it failed to assemble, I'd be going, "What's going on here?" Right, so we need to kernel. Here we go, kernel jump stop. That's what we need there, and this is checking for the stop key. Uh, branch if equal to, um, oh, I'm doing it again. No, 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 no. And then if it's not, so if the stop key, the, so this is when the restore key's been pressed, yeah? So it's checking to see if the run stops check. Um, and if it's not, then it just goes back to the here, FE72. which is the MNI uh, RS232 handler. God knows what that means. I just copied the out of it the ROM. So now we have to do our bit. No. So this, now we have to do uh, basically what we've done up before. So it does this, so it's restoring the vectors, and then it does the it restores the CI, restores the CIA. Uh, then it restores the screen, and then it clears the channels out. So kernel clear channels. There we go. Right. So that is the standard thing. And then we have to do some really weird stuff. So we have to load one, store it, uh, load zero, store it in 13 for some reason. And then we do JSR BAS, thank you, clear command, 
we have to run that and that's performing a basic basic CLR instruction have I done it again MNI my nifty <laughs> interrupt yeah <laughs> and then we have to still clear the interrupt because we've done the uh, RAM vectors uh, routing which would set the interrupt then we do basically this again do that <laughs> But the only difference here is we don't do plus one because we want it to clear the screen. So then we do the start, our start, and then we are going to. Um, oh, there, because we're jumping to there. So I exit. I don't know why you're going. That's better. Uh, which is LDX. 128 jump jump no that's got to be in there somewhere ah there's no dollar sign on them that's why Oh dear. Right. So that is the cart initialization sequence. So if it's starting up from scratch, it runs through this routine, starts, um, initializes R start routine, and jumps to the NMI exit, which is here, and then does. Um, carry um, 128 and then jumps to the jump the error vector now I think 128 is um, just ready if that's what I think it just puts ready there um, if you do run stop and restore it comes to this part here which is exactly the same as that almost it re just restores all the vectors and stuff like that and clears all the memory out and then hands you back so now we're into our bit where we're setting up for us cartridge oh, I've just seen that so this is our start routine and so this is where we uh, basically set up our stuff so vectors so basically we're loading um, our vector map and we are storing it in there uh, so we're doing i and y cpy Hash 12, branch of not equal to vect. Um, oh, hang on. Yeah, hang on. There you go. Is that better? What are you doing up here? Hey? I know, I know. Sorry, I can't see that screen because I've got my notes up.
Oh, just give me some... Oh, thanks, Doxter, for the bits. Just put it over my face. Okay, okay, here we go. Nope. Grab the wrong thing. Is that better? There you go. <laughs> there you go. Andy, you don't need to keep doing the time now. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Now, what we're doing here is... Um, at 0300, um, hang on, let's see if I've got the book at hand, which I think I should have, mapping. You're back, eh, mate? Here we go. There we go. Oh. That's it. So 0300 and 031 is the jump vector for error. This is for your main program loop, the cruncher, the lister. Whoops. Um, this is the executor. I gone and this is the evaluator jump vectors and these are the jump vectors <laughs> these are the jump vectors that we're going to over overwrite with ours right because we need to we need to wedge ourselves into in between the user and the kernel basic so we're going to wedge ourselves in there so what we do is we take our map our vector map and overlay it onto their the, the Commodore vector map. And that allows us then to take over the basic functions and stuff like that. And then what we need to do is, so, uh, And then we need to we need to then <laughs> crunch a list of Rimmer, Cat and Crichton. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not calling him I'm not calling those routines that. No, I'm not gonna do that. So now we need to protect our code from basic. Yeah? So we need to load the that's the wrong way, isn't it? It's the high one. We store it in 56. We store it in 54. And I think the next one's 52. That was done. That was done. But someone did BBC Basic on the C64. I've got it. Where is it? That was that was done. Yeah. Oh. 
There you go. It was Shade L. And I've got it. There it is. Hang on. Can you see that? BBC emulator software for the Commodore 64. There you go. So you can run BBC Basic on a Commodore 64. Right. So we're now pr we're now protecting our cartridge from Basic overriding it. What about Specky? I don't think anybody would want Specky Basic on a 64. Come on. That was probably the worst basic of all. What about GW Basic? Hmm. That'd be interesting. I don't know if we'd be able to fit it. Right. And then we are jumping to... A six six three, and this is perform new command. So our code then protects basic, uh, so it protects our cartridge, and then um, so it moves all the basic pointers down in in the memory. So it moves all the basic pointers down, and then. Perform, performs a new on the the new level yeah and that's why when when we load it in uh, let me load it in again are we still attached yes we are And that's why the bytes drop. No, the bytes didn't drop. It's because we performed it after it. That's why. See, these are things that I'm going to change. You know, where it accurately reflects the um, state of the RAM. Because if I do print free now. It's only 37 at uh, 3007. And then the last thing we need is we need to put our vectors in. So this is what I've worked out my vectors to be. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, no, no. That's one of the things we've got to fix. Yeah? That's one of the... Th you know, remember when I was... When I was 17, 18, yeah, I didn't care. I didn't care about polishing things up like that. Who cares? No one else was going to see it except for me. So this is our initialization system. So this then, were, I mean, it's not going to work because we've just put the vectors in, yeah. Um, but this is our cartridge initialization system. So... Okay. <laughs> 
Gott. <lacht> Andy. Yes, I did have a motorbike at that age, yes. So, that is our initialization. I think it was a Yamaha, a black Yamaha RD50. I think that's what it was at that age. Yeah. It was an RD50, black, red stripe. I got a picture of it somewhere. Oh, shall I embarrass myself and see if I can find it? Um. Um. Oh, that's going to be in it. Where, where would I have those pictures? Miss. Is it under miscellaneous? No. Oh, my beautiful car that got eaten by a lorry. Hmm, I think that's going to take a while to find, I think. But I have got a picture of it somewhere. I'll have to look in the archives. I haven't got it at hand at the moment. No. Go oh, on. No. No, I ain't got it at hand, but I did have a um, black RD50. Um, oh, what a lovely DB9 that is. Sat in that thing. Right. Anyway. <laughs> yes, they did have cameras. Yes, they did have cameras. I've got I've got pic the picture somewhere. Um I don't think I've got it on the phone. Don't know why would I have it on the phone. No. Oh well. Oh, unless it's on my website somewhere. Hang on. No, thought I might have done. No. <laughs> no. Oh well. Um, it, yeah, it was, I'll find it. I'll find it at some point. Anyway, back to this.
We couldn't afford Polaroids. We had to do the old fashioned way. Take a picture, wait seven weeks, post it off, wait seven weeks for it to come back. Right, so now we've got our initialization routine all set up. We can start um, working on our car. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh, thank you, whoever that was. So, we need to now. Um, I need to. We need to run through all the variables that we've got. Yeah. So all these. Where are they? Here. There we go. All these variables here. We need to run through all that lot. And make them in a way. Oh, Mr. S the Mr. Software. Oh, thank you for following. Is there a way of testing the cartridge? Um, let's see. Yeah, there is a way of testing it. The way of testing it is to rem out our jump statement our JSR start yeah and that should be able to test it out so we'll rem this lot out as well because we haven't got those vectors yet um, so we should this should build let's build it to memory first see if it builds without an error have I misspelled something? Ink file not found. 24. Ugh. Project. Let's just make sure it's going to work. That looks like it's Hello, done. Hello, John here. Thank you for following. Hope you enjoy the stream. Uh, thank you for following, whoever that was. <laughs> it should be before the test. <laughs> right. So that's so that's now compiling. So let's build it to file. Build it to file because we've already got it running anyway. Yeah, OSK basic. Thanks, Warlock. Or next, thank you for following. Right, so we should be able to load that in now. Right, so let's re let's do a hard reset of this. Right, so let's load. Our file in. There it is. Right, SYS six four seven three eight. Oh, and it didn't work. Why didn't it work? We oh, should have printed our screen. Why didn't it work? Uh, da, 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 da. What have I missed? Right. 
Right, it's loaded it in. Let's find out what's going on. So we will put a break point at the start of it. Here we go. Well, there's a not lot there, is there? Where did that go then? It said it did load it in 8,000, didn't it? There's nothing there. Oh, no, I did run it from there, didn't I? Right, 8,000. Hang on a second. That's why it didn't work. Guys, why didn't it work? Because I forgot to include it. So, ink, car... I've got some bits. I got some bits. Give me some bits. Oh, thanks, Mark. See, even you guys didn't see it. Aquafin was in the right ballpark. Right, cart initiate. Yeah, that's how you do it. Right, so project build to file. Oh, now it's having issues. Oh, I'm missing some constants. Why, where, have I got a constants file and it can load straight in? Where's the constants file? Where's my constants file? There it is. There it is. Right. New file. Ink. What have I called it? Character. Character. A. Pet. Ski. Consts. Put that in. Save that. Call cool. that file's old. Two thousand and sixteen. Wow. Right. Let's ink. ASM. Lib. Oh, did I call it? Hang on. It's a library. Right. Build to file. Has it done it now? Oh, it's the map vectors, isn't it? Leave that in. Right, so that's built. Store it over that. Right, SYS 64738. Get in there, get in there, booyah, booyah. Yes, we did. We didn't want to tell you. We all have, a, have to learn from our own mistakes. <laughs> yes, FaZe, luckily you asked. Right, so that's now 
So basically, our routine has now taken over the initialization of the C64 and also run, stop and restore, which is escape and page down, page up. There we go. So now this is the, that's the NMI. And that's the, the reset. So that's the beginning of our cartridge code for this. So where are we? Two hours. Wow. I think, I think that's a good place to stop because now in, now what we need to do is we need to, we need a routine to do all the crunching. And what I mean by crunching is to take graphic, the word, and then convert it into a, a basic opcode, draw into a basic opcode, uh, and all that. So that, that's called crunching. Then we've got tokenizing, uh, which converts our basic opcode and tokenizes it into the the lines, the basic lines, programming lines. Then we've got to write a list of program which takes the basic lines that have been coded for a better word and then convert it back into a listing. And then we've got the evaluation system which reads the basic lines and evaluates it before it performs it. And then the thing that performs it is the execution code Yeah, the basic commands will be stored as bytes. I have allocated, I have allocated, if I look, if I find, did I, did I sh no, I didn't shut it, there it is. Right, when you look, let's boost this up so you can see it. All right, so let's get back to the top. Let's find the cruncher. Where's the cruncher? Right, that's the value. Ah, here we go. So this is the evaluator. So I have identified that up to CC is available. So I have, um, so that's the lister. That handles the listing. Here we go. This is the cruncher, isn't it? cruncher yeah this is it so we work out what the command is ah add cc look so i've worked out that cc is um available let's see if i have i got anything to show that no. Here we go. So the last basic token is CB. So we start at 80. And so these are the tokens assigned to these basic commands yeah and it stops at cb so we start at cc Now, why? It's a perfectly good question, Aquafin. Perfectly good question. Um, just thinking out loud. I suppose if we had it less than eighty, um, one twenty-eight. 
then you'd fall foul of the you know the the number characters and the bracket characters and the you know and, and like the um the va variable names yeah so a i mean a is 64 isn't it um Um, a plus there's the percentage sign that's used so I think but anything above 128 you know is not being used because when they, they don't store any reverse characters yes in in two's complement that that's correct uh, or even one's complement so that's I mean Aquafin, don't quote me on that, but me thinking about it, I bet that's the reason why. Because all those characters, less than 128, could potentially be used in the code. Yeah? So, F-O-R. Yeah. Um, but it's a, it's a good question. Um, see, there you go. They use CC for all the extended... Commands look. And then they go into a second byte for, was it, what, version 7? Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's and that's so all our new commands will be coded at CC onwards. Uh, so that's twenty five extra commands from CC. So um, old school code advice if you change keyboard settings from positional to symbolic almost all the keys are correct on the on the pc just quote and at and pound and hash are wrong way round oh right okay oh okay right so I think string number two is we're going to start writing the the basic cruncher, which takes our words and tokenize and, and, and tokenizes them into um, operation codes for a better word. A lister, which does the reverse, takes the operation code and, and reforms it back into a basic line. The um, where's the vectors gone? Here we go. So that's the cruncher, then the lister. Bye bye, right? That's bye bye is the execution execution of it. Yeah. So bye bye means I am now saying bye bye to the basic handler and executing that command, and then the evaluator evaluates um, any pr pr parameters and stuff like that, um, as well as I because uh, it needs to identify the. The, the opera and the, the the code the basic command operation code and then anything after that like so like for example draw was draw x comma y x1 comma y1 2 and the word 2 x2 comma y2 and so that's how that works uh, maybe for non-tokenized data such as variable names yeah variable names are not tokenized and that's why in Commodore Basic they only use two characters because can you imagine typing in background and stuff like that and all the memory you would be wasting away just because of a variable name. And that's why a lot of people didn't use um, integers because that was three characters, you know, a, a percentage sign. It was bad enough you had to put a dollar for a string. So I think... That can be episode two, where we start writing our basic wedge programs. I think that's the official term, where we're writing the wedges.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've, I've fallen into that trap before. Where I've reused a verbal name, not realising it. <laughs> uh, Death Inch, yeah. So, I hope... I hope this is going to be an interesting um, coding series because I don't know if anybody's actually done uh, a coding series where we are uh, basically extending the basic functionality of the Commodore 64. And, uh, and I chose my graphics one because that's what the 64 can't do. It can't do draw lines. It can't do draw circles. And, and so hopefully this is going to be uh 10 15 maybe 20 episodes well there's there's 25 commands isn't there so let's say if we do a command i mean draw command and the circle command may be over two streams i don't know it depends how fast i get through it um but let's say 15 20 episodes um and it means then I'm not going to be um, recording the videos. These are the videos. So you are seeing the video being recorded as we speak. Because it will go on YouTube when, I've, when it's done. Um, and I hope that you, as well as Grid, Grid Runner, which is a completely different concept. I hope you guys enjoy uh, and, and hopefully learn something. Um, of something being com instead of game building we are application building we are building an application that you can use in start, instead of building so it's a whole different concept of coding yeah you don't have to worry about raster lines and you know where the sprite is and collision detections and stuff like that we are now worrying about where the code is in basic We learn the importance of includes. <laughs> yes, got to remember, got to keep including the file. Hmm. Okay. So, is there anybody? Is anybody about? Anybody streaming? No. Is no one on. So, I'm thinking we may. Mister Koala. Never heard of him. How can I rate? Oh, search. Oh. Okay. Right. Oh, Mr. Koala. He's that guy that's running the Commodore Discord server, isn't he? With Shalam, they're admins. All right, we'll go there. I hope, I hope you've enjoyed it. This is going to be a long one, right? Because there are certain. Because I've got slides. I have got slides. I've been preparing slides. So get ready for being having slideshows in front of you. But I'm going to try and explain how all the functions work, and also how we're going to do this. Uh, wedging and stuff like that all right so this this is going to be probably a monday night stream because i normally record videos on a monday night and and we'll do instead of me recording videos we're going to do this on a monday night and then this can be the monday night video that goes on youtube all right well thank you very much for joining me we are going to raid mr koala and see how he reacts all right take care guys and i'll see you in the next stream bye i'd like to thank all the patrons that are contributing to my channel without you guys i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing right now thank you very much